Chris with HobbyKing.com with another great product we're going to talk about today. So another product from Immersion. Uh, this one is pretty cool. I think I'm even going to pick one up myself. Um, but it's kind of a transformer quad. It's got some really unusual uh, features. Let's go ahead and go over them. Here in Hong Kong, uh, we've got uh, size constraints. Anywhere to go fly, you pretty much got to backpack or, or uh, bring stuff in. So having a small quad versus these larger 680s and stuff like that is a little bit of a pain for FPV use. Um, this thing came out and it's, it's pretty amazing. So I'm going to go ahead and flip the arms out and you can get a look at this. As far as the name, I'm horrible at trying to say it. I've called it the Wukong, the X-Kong. Uh, it's X-U-G-O-N-G, so however you want to pronounce that. Um, so obviously you notice the arms uh, folded out on this. Uh, it looks fairly skinny, but it's actually all CNC aluminum. Extremely strong on that, uh, so you've got no worries there. And they've got two variants of this. We'll go over the other variant. This is the 8-inch, which means it uses 8-inch props on it. Now this has what's called a, a clean and dirty plate. For those of you that aren't familiar with multi-rotors, um, any plate that's been isolated using vibration dampening, they normally call that a clean plate because it's isolated from vibration of the motors. This particular helicopter or multi-rotor uses a, a clean plate for the entire chassis. So if you can come in on this, you'll notice that these upper motor mounts are isolated on this, uh, this mount right here, which uses um, uh, the balls, uh, the vibration balls. And if I take this chassis, I can flex it against the upper body. And so any prop noise or vibration that's going to be coming down into this is pretty much eliminated out. Now, on the front of this factory, it comes with a nice little servo gimbal that allows it to pitch down. Um, right here is for your FPV camera. It has a few other little uh, attachments on here for the uh, FPV transmitter and antenna or GPS on there. Battery slides right in the back. It has nice little um, uh, dampened um, leggies on it. Uh, it's an amazing frame. And like I said, you can break it down and just drop it right into a backpack for its, uh, for its size. Now, the other options that this frame has is uh, pretty much the, the center structure is the same. But what they do is increase it to a 10 inch. So this one can now accept 10 inch props. So it's a little bit bigger than the original. Now, um, a couple other things with this frame. I've seen quite a few modifications and uh, aftermarket parts for this frame um, up on the, uh, the, the net. And one of them being a uh, brushless gimbal for the front of that. So you definitely want to check out a couple of those options if you grab one of these frames. But if you're in an area where you want to backpack in a multi-rotor, get a couple of uh, great aerial shots using your, your action cam and uh, size is an issue and you want a portability, you know, something in a backpack, uh, but don't want a smaller uh, quad like a 250, this, this is definitely the quad for you. It's from Immersion. Go ahead and check it out. It's up on the new items page. And as always, subscribe to our YouTube channel. See you next time.